Have you ever thought about where your produce comes from? Most grocery chains receive produce from various local and national farmers. In fact, there are about 3.4 million farmers in the United States today. But of that staggering number, only 45,000 are black farmers. At The Better Buggy, we are a proud group of Atlanta-based black-owned farmers, selling produce locally and nationwide. Our easy-to-navigate online platform makes it easy for you to make a one-time purchase or to simplify your life by subscribing to our weekly produce box. Whichever frequency you choose, you can order with confidence knowing you'll receive 100% organic farm fresh produce. If you're looking for a thoughtful gift for a loved one that they'd actually find useful, be sure to pop by our online store where you can snag a gift card your recipient can use to order their own produce and t-shirts. Ready to start supporting local black owned farms and making healthier food decisions? Visit thebetterbuggy.com now to start shopping. Ladies and gentlemen, Marilyn was taken to court over the unemployment being cut off by the governor. And just like Indiana, when I did that story, Marilyn is going to have to resume paying the unemployment. Now, if you remember... Uh, when Joe Biden signed the last stimulus, unemployment was supposed to last until September. And this is not necessarily organizations that are doing this. A lot of these are individual people that are suing the state for being cut off prior to September. Remember, the stimulus was signed into law. And technically, these, these Republican governors cannot override the law. So they had the court date today in Maryland, and here's the outcome. So this is the Baltimore uh, Sun-Times, July 3rd, 2021. Baltimore judge orders Maryland to pay enhanced unemployment benefits state appeals. Okay, so they got to resume paying whether they like it or not. A Baltimore judge on Saturday ordered the state to continue paying enhanced federal unemployment benefits to tens of thousands of jobless Marylanders, a decision that Governor Larry Hogan fought as a midnight, a midnight deadline approached. So the Baltimore circuit judge you know, the circuit court judge said, no, <laughs> no, you can't take it upon yourself and just take uh, the unemployment away from people, which was written into law of how it was going to be distributed and how long. So Baltimore circuit judge Lawrence Fletcher Hill issued a temporary restraining order Saturday morning that requires the state to continue the unemployment programs just hours before they were set to end under a decision made by, you know, the Republican governor, Larry Hogan. So don't look like uh, people are going to be cut off. And you can best believe this is going to be going on in states where the governors did this. It's now being challenged in court and look like the people are prevailing. OK, so Indiana was the first and now Maryland. Oh, you can best believe the others will follow. So uh, the people will not see any loss in their unemployment in Maryland. And, you know, and that's a good thing, especially as long as you're not working. And why would anybody say anything about it? I mean, this was part of the stimulus package. So. Look like old Larry here lost, but we shall see. I'm sure, you know, I already said the state is appealing, but to be honest with you, I can't see them doing too much of nothing because so many people are unemployed right now. I don't think they're going to do too much of nothing to turn it around. They're going to just let this whole thing ride out until September and when everybody gets cut off at that point. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this. You know, good for Marilyn.
you know, and, and any people that really need the money right now. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.